Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, the concept known as a morphism, morphism of groups. And so sometimes this is also called a uh, homomorphism. Um, that terminology is slowly growing outdated, but it's also still in wide use. So it's perfectly OK to call this a homomorphism, but normally I just prefer to call it a morphism of groups. And what a morphism of groups is, is it's, it's a function. So if I have two groups, G and H, and I have a function, which I'll call phi, uh, from G to H. And this function is a group called morphism if the following holds, which is phi of A times B is equal to phi of A times phi of B, um, where A and B are in the group G. And that is the condition that makes uh, a, a map a function, um, which the map slash function is phi in this case, um, this makes it a homomorphism. Um, so somehow these homomorphisms of groups are quite important uh, as they somehow resp res re respect the multiplication structure on the group. Of course, um, this for this I'm I'm using multiplicative notation, right? If it were if it were an additive group, you'd have something different. You'd have something like phi of a plus b equals um, you know, phi of a plus phi of b, um, you know, so that would be additive. And similarly, you can write, you know, if one of the groups is additive and the other one is multiplicative, you can, you can write down a similar thing. But really, um, we'll just think of, like, when we're thinking of an abstract group, you know, we think, uh, of the multiplicative group, and we use this condition right here. Okay. But it's the same thing as this, it's just notation. So let's look at an example. Um, so let's look at uh, the group GL2R. Um, so let's say G is GL2R. And I want to consider the homomorphism determinant. So determinant is a homomorphism from, let's say, GL to R. And then the determinant gives me a number. Uh, and because the general linear group uh, is in vertible matrices, um, the, it's R you know, not including 0. Um, and so. Um, I can also write that as R cross, which I will. Um, and so this is a group with its multiplication, and this is also a group with its multiplication. And so I have an example of two elements. Um, you can check that these multiply. You know, if you get three, um, and you get, um, you'll get six. So it, it, it actually looks like I've mixed up the multiplication here. You should get six there, and you'll get seven when you take, you know, two times one, two two and one, and then multiply that with one five. Um, so you multiply your matrices using matrix multiplication. And this is what you will get, and we can calculate what the determinants of each of these matrices are. So if we take the determinant of this matrix, it'll be a D minus B C, so we have one minus ten, that's minus nine. Um, then we'll have three minus zero times two, which is zero, so this will be three, 
And so finally, what we'll get here is we'll get 15, 15 minus uh, 42, 42, which if I'm not mistaken is minus, minus 30 minus 27. And which, of course, is what this is. Um, so almost magically, um, this determinant uh, is actually preserved under this this matrix. This preserved by this matrix multiplication.